In this video I'll be showing you how to preload Warzone 2.0 onto your Windows computer. But before we get started I just want to say if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do like this video and want to see more Warzone videos like how to fix crashing issues and other problems like that then don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. So the first thing that you need to do is simply click on the link that's in the description below to head on over to the Battle.net website. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on Download Battle.net in the top right hand corner and it will then begin to download the setup file to your computer. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and run the setup file. You will now have a window that looks like this. Once that's finished, you will then have a window asking you where you'd like to install the app. So I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive in my program files folder. You can also choose if you want the Battle.net app to launch with your computer, which I don't, so I'm actually going to untick that option. So once you're happy with the options that you've selected and if you did change the install location, we can go ahead and click on continue. It will now begin to install the Battle.net app. Alrighty, once it's finished installing, you now need to either sign into your Battle.net account if you already have one. If you don't, then you have a few different options. You can either log in with Facebook, Google or Apple or you can create a free Battle.net account by clicking on the link here. So I'm now going to go ahead and sign into my Battle.net account now. Okay, so once you've signed into the Battle.net app, you might see Warzone at the top here, the Warzone icon, which you can select. If you do not see this icon, then you need to click on Shop and you then need to click in the search box in the top right hand corner and you then need to type in Warzone. We then need to select Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 and you will now see the Preload Now option. Go ahead and click onto this button. We can now click on Pre-Install down in the bottom left hand corner. We can now choose what we'd like to install under Game Content. So if you click on Modify Install, you can see here that all the other options are actually greyed out but Warzone 2.0 is selected, which is correct because that's what we want to install or should I say pre-install. So we can now press confirm. The next option is where you'd like to install Warzone. So I'm happy for that to actually be installed on my C drive. But if you don't have enough room on your C drive or the location that is selected, then you can click on change folder and choose a different location. So once you've done that, the next option is your language. So I've got English selected, which is fine. And you can then choose if you want to enable auto updates and also create a desktop shortcut to launch the game. So once you're happy with all the options that you selected, go ahead and click on start install. The game will now begin to download and install to your Windows computer. So once the install has finished, you will then be able to launch the game within the Battle.net app by clicking on the Warzone icon at the top under the Games tab and then you will see the play button here once it's released. So that is actually tomorrow the 16th which is going to be exciting. I'm actually really looking forward to trying out Warzone 2.0. Let me know in the comments how excited you are about playing the new Warzone map. If you did like the video click the like button below and if you'd like to see more Warzone videos like I said earlier on in the video then don't forget to click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe then I will see you in the next video.